welcome back so next we are going to create a user and uh, just a quick overview of how the AWS works uh, just like it a uh, Windows uh, Active Directory we have groups and users that's exactly the same so you create user but you create user in a group you cannot create a user just like uh, uh, you normally would in uh, uh, Active Directory so all the users needs to be in a group and then the rules and what are the rules and policies so policies in amazon wide are applied to risk uh, any resources could be device printers anything and the rules are permissions that you assign to users so that's just uh, like a quick um, overview of how aws works so let's go and create a user so all you have to do is come over here to this and you, you see we have nothing if I go to dashboard uh, you can see it's a brand, like military brand new there's nothing uh, being worked on over here I have two roles and uh, that is uh, the defaults one uh, no groups nothing so let's go and create a user so in the user uh, dashboard or panel you click add a user you give him a name and I'm gonna write my name in here and what kind of access you want uh, for this user to have there are two the programmatic access is basically a software access like uh, the, for example if you remember from my video we created uh, some users in active directory for uh, deployment and uh, there was another thing that that would go and scan the resources so that was for the uh, that would be your programmatic access and it's not limited to just that it can be any software that can connect to your AWS and do whatever needs to be done the other one it actually says CLI SDK software development kit so you come online access uh, interface so you, you get the idea this is the one that we're interested in It's the AWS management console access so this user will be able to log into AWS and manage uh, the our AWS but with a little less uh, ac access or permissions or power than our root user. So we're gonna go with this one. Uh, Auto-generated password, we're gonna go with the custom one. Let me see if I can have a, a password of my own. I'm gonna type in here and at next sign in. So there are two ways. If you're an active uh, uh, like uh, production AWS, you want to make sure that you do this because you're gonna give them just a password. You normally you send them an email and you tell them, hey, this is your password. Just log in, and then it forces them to change the passwords. So nobody else has their password, only them, and that is for uh, uh, that is a big thing for accountability. You want to make sure that only one user is uh, using uh, the, with one username it has to be one username to one user it cannot be one username to many users it has to be since it's gonna be just me I'm gonna uncheck it but in production remember you have to check that next is permission oh I could save it it's my personal computer but yeah uh, permission so you want to add user to group you and copy permissions from an existing user or attach existing policies directly so uh we are gonna we, we gonna create a group here and you, we're just gonna call it admin administrator or whatever but what it's saying is that either you can go add this user to a group but if it's like in production there are many you know it's not a brand new one you already have groups or many pro users and you're just using a user to an act already uh, uh, Develop group and he's just going to be part of that team and there is already somebody working there that uh, a colleague or somebody who has the exact same permissions that you want this user to have so you don't have to go and assign this uh, uh, rights permissions one by one you, you can just copy it and you know that that user will have this exact same access as the one that was uh, who's already been there and working so we're gonna go with create a group and there are few groups already oh no that these are the policies so we can uh, create a group and we're gonna call it admin we're gonna create group or we could you know as we from here you can give them the kind of 
access from here so let's go and give them both the administrative access and create group so this group you can see that the policies the, this one has and this brand new user that I'm just creating is going to be part of this group and hence it will have the access being given through that so you know how it comes together and works so let's we can go to the we can what's the so this is the concept of uh, control or you know least uh, uh, access but since this uh, user needs to be admin so we can go with the without a permission boundary because we just uh, want to manage our AWS without a root account so that's why this uh, user is going to be there I'm gonna add it here or administrator so these are the tags again if it's relatively big AWS you want these tags to quickly find next is review so we're gonna review it so review is uh, that the username is going to be this and the console password type is custom remember we you know, we make sure that uh, we are giving them the password and it's not auto generated the access type is management console access so it's not the CLI or a API SDK access it's not a software it's going to be a human being accessing it we could give that same user the other access to if it was a developer or programmer who would you know test it out uh, using his exact same credentials permission boundary is not set it's he's the uh, this user is going to be part of this group we could add multiple groups just like in active directory but we chose not to at this point and that's it we're gonna create user and success you successfully created the user shown below so this user has been created we here we have an option we can send this like whoever it is we can send an email to his email address so he will receive the uh, instructions if, along with the password and how to log in and that's it we can close it or I can it's it's just a mail to uh, the link if you can see down over here when I hover over it you can see it's just a mail tool so it will open a mail client and send a, uh, let you uh, send that email I'm gonna close it over here users been created if we go and see how we in the user dashboard uh, the user is username is there and you can see if I can make it a little bit to the here so MFA again we can ex uh, enable it for this account as well that we're gonna cover in a different video so if we go click on that uh, it's open up all the um, like granular control of this user you can see what kind of permission it is you can revoke the permission from here especially just for this user so even though it's he is going to be part of a group that has all both of these permission if we remove him he is not going to get those permission He's part of this group he has two tags security credentials are here assign MFA device not assigned we can manage it from here and I'm not gonna do that in this video maybe later down the road when the need arise I will and the access advisor I it's okay, it's loading so this is just like uh, what kind of policy is granting permission and all that so you can search through here it's just all management for just this user so this is it I'm gonna wrap this video here if you have this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one